there's this choice now, right, where she can go down having this lifelong disease and where just all her different organs can get involved over the years, or she can get her health back. Uh, my daughter's 11, was diagnosed with lupus at 8. How can I start the transition to help her? And is it okay to assume almond, coconut, or rice milk? Um, gosh, I'm so glad you're here. I have helped many young kids. If you went to my classes, uh, hopefully you saw uh, one case that I presented of a child who actually was in the ICU with lupus in her heart and in her lungs um, and actually was a code blue. And she's now, she was 11 when I first met her. She's now uh, in middle school doing well off medicines, no problems at all. Uh, her kidneys were normal within less than two weeks. It was like a week and a half that her kidneys normalized and her heart normalized and she's been doing great. Um, so this is the best thing you can do for your kid. And I'm so glad you're here. Um, I, you, you got to be careful because I don't know what her symptoms are of the lupus. If she's stable and you want to just put her on a plant-based diet and start increasing her raw foods, great. You know, get rid of meat and dairy, get rid of processed foods, keep fresh foods in the house, start doing the smoothies and see how she does. Um, if she's aggressively ill, like the one that I told you about that I just told you about that I helped, she was on only rapid recovery initially because her organs were literally failing from lupus. So you have to be more aggressive when people are in grave danger. Uh, if they're stable, you can kind of do it stepwise. And again, you know, a lot of times kids are kind of picky, so it's helpful when I can meet with them on a the consultation, go through the kind of foods they like, and then help them decide on what foods they'd be willing to do. Like for the case that I was just talking about, she liked the smoothies, but she also really liked big bowls of guacamole and dipping broccoli in it. So she did broccoli and carrots and stuff every day, dipping as her lunch and smoothies for breakfast, and that worked well for her. So we just have to go through and figure out what she likes. Um, but I'm so glad because helping kids get better rather, you know, th there's this choice now, right, where she can go down having this lifelong disease and where just all her different organs can get involved over the years or she can get her health back. And and there's no reason why she can't. So let me know if you're struggling, too, and also let me know how she does.